Hey, I'm Sam Tamriel. <coughs> Today I'll be reviewing Skyrim. Initial thoughts. When I first got this game, I was drooling diamonds. Literally. And I still really enjoy it. Bethesda, a famous company, is the creator. Skyrim is available on PS3, Xbox 360, and PC. It's about $60 on all platforms. It's rated M, and I say yes. There's drug use, decapitation, swear words, and blood. Appearance. This game looks beautiful. The detail in the small things, and even the detail in the large things. It's mind-blowing to see how far we've come nowadays. Cutscenes, well, I wouldn't really consider them cutscenes, just scheduled events. Blessings of the eight divines upon For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over. All the voices in Skyrim seem to be similar, but that's a very minor flaw in a great game. Go fiddling with any locks around here. Well, all more in the rat way. What's next? You could say the rat way is sitting on... The story. No worries, I won't give any spoilers. But the main quest line, all you're pretty much doing is trying to figure out where the dragons came from. And the Civil War quest line, which is pretty much you join the St Imperials or the Stormcloaks and fight each other over the control of Skyrim. Gameplay. The controls are simple, and you can customize them for a more comfortable feel. After the fact that you can shout like the dragons, there's many enemies you can fight, like robots, zombies, giants, mammoths, necromancers, skeletons, more necromancers. Bandits, vampires, werewolves. Sorry, I'm getting confused. In Skyrim, you have a level up system where you have a main level, and inside of that, you have many level systems for your magic, skills, and weapons. In the beginning of the game, you get to pick between 10 races High Elves, good with magic but are bad against it, Argonians, they can breathe underwater and are 50% resistant to diseases, Wood Elves, Good with nature and bow and arrows. Bretons, 25% resistant to magic. Dark elves, 50% resistant and good with magic and sneaking. Imperials, they can find more gold. Khajiits are good with unarmed and sneak. Norns, they are good fighters and are 50% resistant to frost. Orcs are the un unrelentless fighters. Red guards are 50% immune to poison and are good with swords. The game is pretty much your standard RPG, but the quests are better and the AI is better. And the entire game is just better because you can go exploring for five and a half hours and not get bored because you're probably going to be getting chased down by dragons a lot. This game has bugs and still freezes sometimes. And when I mean freeze, I mean it gets stuck on the loading screen and you'll just be waiting there for about an hour and a half wondering what did you do wrong. I know I have. Final thoughts. Alright, so the appearance is about a solid 9, the story is about a 7, and the gameplay is a 10. Overall, we gave it a 9. If you don't have this game yet, I don't know how, because you must have been living under a rock. And if you're thinking of getting this game, heed my words. It's great. What in the name of oblivion do you want? Oh, it's you. I'm Sam Tamriel. I have to go punch a Fallout 3 poster for making fun of me. It's been an honor reviewing this for you. Have a great day. Nothing. You're nothing. At all.